This week's Rifleman Review, we're looking at Ruger's SR762, and it's the big 308 brother to Ruger's SR556. Now we have here essentially a piston-driven AR system. What makes Ruger's interesting is that it actually has a two-stage piston system. Now what happens is as the gas is siphoned from the barrel, it first engages a small diameter head on the piston. As that is pushed back, it exposes a larger diameter head, and so doing this in two stages actually mitigates the felt recoil for the shooter. To further tune the operation of the gun, Ruger's got a four position gas regulator. Another interesting feature on this rifle is that in the lower receiver, most of the components are actually mil-spec AR-15 components. Now what this means is that if you have a favorite trigger or if you like to change out the pistol grip, most of these accessories that are available for your AR-15s are going to be compatible with the SR-762. This is really great for guys who like to personalize their firearms. Now as we can see here, we've got a full length of topside Picatinny rail. So any scopes or optics or backup sights that you want to put on here, we're ready to go. You're also going to receive the Ruger backup sights. Just like a lot of the sights we're seeing, they flip up and down, they'll get out of the way of your optics. It's a really great addition. Also the fore end or the handguard is kept slick. What I mean by that is there's no Picatinny rail on the sides or bottom. You're going to get it just like this with little handguard covers but it's also gonna come with smaller sections of pick rail so you can put them right where you want them. In this case, we put it on the bottom and attached a Harris bipod. A couple interior features, the entire bolt carrier group is chrome plated, as well the 16 inch barrel is chrome lined. Now one interesting thing that we really saw while we've been out here shooting this gun is that all of your fouling, or at least the majority of it, is really kept up near the piston and the regulator system. That means that you're keeping your bolt carrier group nice and clean, it's functioning really well, and actually for maintenance, it's pretty easy to pop this thing off, clean it all out, pop it back on, you're ready to go. The rifle feeds from a 20 round third generation T-Mag, but it's also, there's been some modifications made right in that magazine well, so this is gonna function really well with any 7.62 AR style magazines. For a couple overall specifications, it's about eight and a half pounds and it's about 38 inches long, but of course that all depends on what position you choose to put the collapsible buttstock in. I've been out here shooting this gun for a couple days and it's functioned great. Putting a high power scope on it, we were able to take it out to a thousand yards and make consistent hits. Now that's pretty incredible. As well, in this dry, dusty climate, this gun has not missed a beat. It's functioned reliably and it's shot accurately. To top it off, it's chambered in America's favorite hunting round. If that's not a great package for you, I don't know what is.